All right, this is a video of my new hatchery system. It's an indoor garage system. Uh, by nature of being an indoor system and you know using artificial lights, it's not the most efficient system, but um, I have made a little bit of changes to try and keep my energy consumption down. Uh, right now, there's nothing in my two IBCs. These are about 200 gallons after they've been cut, cut off. Um, I'm using the Ben and Glenn airless system coming from three barrels. Um, each of these three barrels are actually little fish tanks. Um, this is where I've moved my hybrid crappie and this is where I've moved my black crappie um, fingerlings. The other Six barrels are completely full of substrate. Um, system's a little bit high on water right now. You can kind of see the water at the top of the row beds. But we use the Ben and Glenn airlift pump. It's a one-way valve. We move it up into the first IBC, and then it goes out into the other IBC and then it will overflow onto something of a strawberry tower, not really. Um, I do have some little strawberries that haven't started blooming, hopefully they do. Um, I bought the little roots at you know, Home Depot. Uh, I, have a, I have a few little herbs that I just planted, I threw a bunch of seeds in um, just to get started. Uh, I'll probably end up doing peppers in here. Um, I found that I can do peppers with just blue light like I have. Um, things like tomatoes won't do well, but herbs should do well. Um, so, you know, having cilantro year round sounds like a lot, sounds good to me. So the airlift pump, I'm using this aqua, um, I have forgotten the name of this pump. Um, but it's a, oh, it's an Echo Plus 3. It's about 35 watts. Um, and that's doing the, the airlift part. And so you can kind of get an idea of, of what the flow looks like. Um, it's pretty good. Um, I would compare this visually to about what I get from a cheap, you know, 600 gallon per hour um, magnetic pump. Um, when I actually put a gallon jug underneath it, I was only getting, you know, a little over two gallons per hour, or I'm sorry, two gallons per minute. <laughs> sorry, uh, but yeah, about it was filling it up about twice a minute, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's it's cycling the system really good. Um, it's it's keeping er everything really well circulated. Uh, to give you an idea of, of kind of how violent that that bubble bubble action is, um, there you go. Um, before I had the Echo Plus 3, I actually put two Echo Plus 1s in line and kind of got about the same results. Um, it, and that's why, that's what is, that other inlet is for. Um, I decided not to use it. Say hi, Jax. Um, and as far as the lights are concerned, these are just little two wide shop lights. Uh, I don't really know. I don't remember how many watts those are, but um, I use a daylight bulb, uh, mylar in the background that helps with the reflection. I'm going to put mylar on this side as well um, so that it just puts kind of a tunnel of light down onto the, onto the plants. And um, the bubbles that you see is all coming from this Echo Plus One. Um, this is a good, seems like a good little pump. I haven't had it for very long, but it puts out um, a lot of air for about 18 watts. Um, it's, it's powering four of those and um, it, it puts quite a lot of air in the system. Um, I don't know that I need extra air, but you know, we're talking about seven or eight dollars a year, <laughs> so it's no big deal. Um, I don't think I can have too much air in the system.